Give you a monthly salary of 100,000. Just take care of a puppet. Would you do it? It's not easy because this puppet. Emotions move. It also steals clothes and cuts your hair while you're in the shower. It's really weird. Spooky castle. Mysterious attic. There seem to be many hidden secrets. Tata for avoiding domestic violence ex-boyfriend. Run to this remote villa to apply for a babysitter. The owner is not at home. Looking at clean carpet. She takes off her shoes. Walk around the luxurious house alone. Fiddling with toys. A voice behind her startled her. Is Mark. Fixed shot owner who came to the villa to deliver daily necessities. Hugh Morris. Passionately guide Tata. Tell her the couple is generous, but mentioned their son. But hesitant. Then the mistress came back to take Tata to meet her son. But Tata found that her shoes were missing. The hostess has a subtle expression. Explained to. Maybe her son was joking with her. This is the man of the castle. Say hello. Tata saw. The person she takes care of. A ceramic doll boo. She thought the family was playing tricks on her. Laugh out loud. But seeing this old couple serious. Looking slightly angry. Tata is a little overwhelmed. At this time, the appearance of Mark broke the embarrassment. He greeted Boo casually. Make Tata feel like he's the weird one. To get the job, she had to bite the bullet. Greeted Boo in a decent manner. Learned from the hostess. They had a lot of babysitters. Boo is not satisfied, but he likes Tata. Then began to instruct. Dawson don'ts for caring for Boo. Wake him up at 7 every day. Get dressed for breakfast. Read poetry and play music. Everything has to be done according to the schedule. Tata is amazing, but the surface fits very well. After all, she she really needs this job right now. Fortunately, that's how she was chosen. The next morning, Tata C. Madam Shire was very angry and berated Boo. Blame him for making a mess of the room. Broken senior couple decides to go on vacation. Entrust Boo to Tata's care. Left to schedule. Reluctantly say goodbye to Boo. Tata guarantee. We'll take good care of Boo. But after the old couple left. Very unbelieving Tata. Just put Boo on the chair. She always felt that Boo was staring at her blankly. Simply bring a piece of Boo and cover him. The schedule is also forgotten. Made strawberry to toast. Pour a glass of red wine. Enjoy afternoon tea time. It's night. In the dark. She was frightened by Boo. Boo, covered with the doll, fell down. In a fit of rage, she threw the puppet directly on the rocking chair. Went to sleep. Midnight with thunderstorms. Tata seems to be awakened by the crying of the child. She took the candle and looked for the sound. Before the photo of a family of three. But was grabbed by the throat of the child in the photo. Tata wakes up. It's just a nightmare. She came to see the doll. But found him crying. Maybe he didn't take care of him. Still aggrieved? A closer look found. It was the roof leaking. Tata laughs at his own fuss again. Put down the puppet. She noticed something strange in the attic on the roof, but obviously locked. Can't open at all. Here comes Mark. Supplies are provided once a week. She was anxious. Asked about the son's past. From Mark's mouth. 20 years ago, this son Boo, at the age of 8, died in a fire. Then there is this puppet. For over 10 years, the old couple remembers their son in this way. They find a nanny every year. If Boo hadn't died, they are the same age now. Then take the opportunity to invite Tata to go out to play. Tata is new to the place. She has no friends. When getting ready to change clothes for a date, she found that Boo was staring straight at her. Tata shut the door in disappointment. She put on her clothes and went to take a shower. Unexpectedly, when she was in the shower, her dress and necklace were missing. Even the hair was cut off. Terrified, she hurried back to the house. She found out that all her clothes had been looted. Only the towel left. Frightened out of the door. She looked back and saw that the ladder in the attic had been lowered. She thought Mark was joking. In a hurry for a date and no clothes, she had to go up and check. As soon as she came up, the ladder was automatically put away. It's pitch black in here. Then Mark came to pick her up too. Tata cried out for help from the small window and tried to pry open the window. Not only did Mark not hear, just a few knocks on the door, left without answering. Panicked, she had to grope for an exit, but was frightened and fainted by the hanging figure. Wake up again. It's the second day. The only thing that scared her was the hanging clothes. She accidentally saw a photo album. Inside are photos of Boo when he was young. Boo smiles well-behaved family portrait below, but it's another Boo with a gloomy expression. At this time, the ladder in the attic also opens automatically. Tata also returned to his room, except for the red dress. All other clothes are back. She told Mark these weird things. Mark helped her inspect the whole villa, but no problem. But strange things keep happening. At night, when she brushes her teeth, Tata feels that there is a shadow behind him. She came to the doll room. The doll tilted his head and looked at her blankly. She thought it was strange and corrected him, but the doll bounced back immediately. Tata wakes up again. It was another nightmare. She opens the door. The shoes she had lost earlier were left at the door, and the doll was sitting on the bed, with the schedule she should fulfill by her side. Tata is terrified. Hurry back to the room. The phone rang. She picks up the phone. Is the voice of a little boy. Ask her why she didn't keep the promise. Is Boo. Tata is terrified. At this time, 
A figure came out of the house, the childish voice said. <laughs> Tata opens the door, it was her favorite toast. Looking at Boo sitting in front of the bed, she suddenly understood. Maybe this doll really hides Boo's soul. He wants to please himself, just want to be with him. Then Tata started, taking care of the puppet according to the schedule. Don't dare to slack off. Mark has been unable to contact Tata. Come early for delivery. He invited Tata again, but she refused to leave Boo. After Mark left, she wants to confirm the existence of Boo again. The temptation to eat. Boo doesn't move. She threw off the food in a fit of rage. As soon as he turned around, Boo teleported elsewhere. Startled again. She called Mark back, excited and nervous to demonstrate his findings to him. Mark must not believe it. Really? Boo was motionless after the test. Mark is speechless, but Tata doesn't give up. Tell the puppet. If he doesn't move, we'll leave him. Really second time. The puppet is gone. Mark is speechless and completely believes in evil. Both believe. The doll is really attached to Boo's soul. So Tata took care of the puppet more wholeheartedly. After putting him to sleep, she wanted to relax with Mark. Just turned off the lights. Loud music from downstairs. Come to discover. Boo sits alone at the table. Turn up the music to the max. This may be his act of dissatisfaction and anger. Mark thinks there's some danger here. He advised Tata to leave here with himself. But Tata disagrees. She thinks Boo is just a little wayward. Won't hurt her. She has to keep her promise to take care of the doll. Watch persuasion. Mark had to tell the hidden truth. When Boo was 8 years old, a little girl often comes to play with him. But after attending Boo's birthday, the little girl never came out. The body was later found in the woods. Skulls are smashed. When the police arrive home, there's been a raging fire. The old couple escaped. Boo was burned to death. This means, unable to determine the good and evil of this soul. But Tata still refuses to leave. She put the puppet to sleep. Came to the attic again to look at the album. She really saw the photo of Boo with the girl. Boo in the photo is staring at the girl weirdly. Looks exactly like a doll. But she still remained unmoved. Think it's just a rumor. Until the domestic violence ex-boyfriend found it here. This is an old rascal. Painted a pie for Tata. Take her away. Also threatened her. Desperate. She was sleeping with the doll in her arms, crying and asking for Boo to help me. Unexpectedly, the midnight doll disappeared. Ex-boyfriend got rat's blood on his head. It's written on the glass to get out, but he insists it's Tata's fault. He doesn't believe in dolls at all. At this time, Mark was worried that Tata also rushed over. But this ex-boyfriend is hot-tempered. Despite dissuasion, smashed the ceramic doll like a shot put. Then the house shook. Weird. Mark proposes to leave quickly, but the ex-boyfriend didn't listen, staring at the mirror. Look at this mirror. Is it big and round? Then, inside the wall, an adult man with a ceramic mask drilled out. Then he rushed directly to the ex-boyfriend, solved him with puppet fragments. Tata and Mark run away, but no matter where they hide, masked man can get out of the wall. It turns out that the whole villa is connected through the walls. In a panic, the two escaped into a passage, inadvertently broke into the masked man's residence, looking at the puppet wearing its own clothes on the bed. It turns out that this man has been spying on himself, and the letter left by the old couple on the table. The letter says, they're gone and won't come back. This girl is yours now. Apparently, the girl was referring to Tata. This masked man is Boo. He is not dead. It's just been hidden in the walls of this villa. Live for more than 20 years. Tata is broken. Mark couldn't care less to comfort her. Take her away. Finally, they found an exit, but locked. At this time, Boo arrives. He is frantic and violent. Stunned Mark. Emergency. Tata also kicked the exit. Ran out. Boo shouted from behind. He will let her come back. If she's gone he'll kill Mark. Tata. Who ran to the door. Suddenly stopped. Back to the villa. She found an extended screwdriver. Out of pocket. Boo appears. She told him. Came back for himself. When Boo gets close. She suddenly yelled at him. It's time to sleep. Boo is restrained. Come to the bedroom obediently. Although his body is already an adult. But because he never saw the light of day. Mind is still like an 8 year old. Violent tendencies only when stimulated. Tata put him on the bed. And put him to sleep. But Boo asked her to kiss him. Tata had no choice but to lean down. Then stab him in the stomach with a screwdriver. But the fool is strong. Instantly throws Tata up. He grabbed her neck and she was about to suffocate. Tata pulls out the screwdriver and makes another cut. Put down Boo. She found Mark. Drive with Mark. Leave this horrible place. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this on Recap Next.